I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. I'm building a quad. That's not what you're here to learn about. I'm building a quad, and I'm doing something that many of you will find very questionable, controversial. That is, I am using metal stack screws. Metal stack screws, is that safe? Are you going to just, I mean, the, the metal is touching the PDB, and the electricity will get out and make fire. Bad. No, no. And I'm going to tell you why. This is a fully built quad. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my multimeter in continuity mode. So it's gonna show me where I have electrical continuity. And we're gonna see where we have continuity to the negative pin of the XT60. Like for example, we really, we should expect to have continuity to ground from like the USB connector. That's just normal and expected that the USB connector will be grounded because the USB needs ground for, you know, for communication, just like anything. And if we could go to the ESC minus or the ground pads, of course, it would be there, but that's not very interesting. Well, what about this? What about the carbon fiber frame? Oh, yeah. Continuity to ground. The frame is grounded. Where is it getting ground from? Well, there's any number of places it could be coming from. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Got it to the metal here, ground here. So you can see that there's continuity to ground all over the quad. Just everything on the quad is grounded and that's pretty freaking normal. So the fact that we've got these screws here touching, oh my gosh, they're touching the frame. Well, that just means the screws are grounded, but everything on the quad is grounded. And that's not a problem. It's completely normal in electronic devices for the case to be grounded, especially when the case is metal and therefore conductive. Now, this is just a little battery powered screwdriver. I just grabbed it as an example. But if a positive wire inside the device were to come in contact with the case, then the case would be energized. And if you touched it, you would get a shock. This is just a little three volt is nothing, but if it, especially if it's higher voltage or mains power, then that's a concern. And so the case is always grounded so that if a live wire comes into contact with it, it, the current is shunted to ground and the case doesn't become energized. You get a short circuit and that's better than shocking yourself. Now, when we come to electronic devices with mounting holes, the mounting holes are also almost always grounded. So I'm going to touch the mounting hole here and I'm going to need a source of ground and the outside of an MMCX connector or UFL connector is, is always grounded. So we should have continuity here. Damn you bastard. Why do you not have continuity? Oh, it's completely isolated. I see. They don't even have continuity to each other. Okay, this was a bad example. These are isolated. Well, underground FPV, you are smart cookies. You've isolated these. You didn't have to do that, but... You did. Let me find a better example. So this is the Eoshin Wizard TS215, and it does have metal, you can see them right there, metal covered mounting holes for its board. And if we test for continuity to ground, we'll find that they're grounded. Yeah. You piece of sh are you for real? Okay. They are also not grounded. I'm amazed. Okay. Well, we're all learning something today. How about that? And that is the takeaway of this video. Do not worry about using metal screws for almost all of your electronics in your stack because almost all of the electronics assume that the frame is grounded and therefore the screws would be grounded. And therefore, if you were to put a positive voltage on the mounting holes, you would be creating a short to ground and that would be stupid. But some people out there are just that dumb because this is the racer star star f4s flight controller and esc and this is actually a pretty cool piece of kit a lot of people choose this for their first build it's cheap it's got a built-in esc and flight controller but hang on there's a catch look right here i'll zoom in for you note the four installing holes were linked to positive power battery plus therefore must use the plastic screws or any others non-conductive screws to install if not the fc esc receivers will be brunt yeah if you use metal screws on this flight controller you will get a dead short to ground the minute you plug in your battery and that's not just oh you might burn your flight controller esc or receiver you could like 
burn up your battery. Bad, very bad. So you can almost always assume that the mounting holes do not have continuity to positive. But if you want to be really paranoid, you can test them. And you should find, like I did with the Rush VTX, you should find that the mounting screw either has continuity to ground or has no continuity to anything. But if it has continuity to BAT+, plus, well, then really just pick a different piece of hardware in my case. Don't reward, don't, damn it, Racer Star. Why did you do this? There's no good reason to do this and plenty of bad ones. What were you thinking? And they haven't fixed it either. It's been like this for like a year. I don't know how long it's, they haven't fixed it though. This has been a long time since they came out with this product and it's had this issue and they haven't fixed it and they ought to fix it and then be an okay product. But as it is, bleh. okay, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Happy flying.